Oh my gosh, guys, can you see them? Are they pretty or what? Oh my god, my foxes came in. We were calling them Anori foxes. Maybe they're low-key foxes, but these are the ones that, you know, I told you I save up my um, points on eBay. And these are the little guys I ordered. I ordered them early this month and they aren't supposed to be here till May 23rd. So I am super happy they came in. They are super tiny. They are, they are smaller than a Coke can. Um, so yeah, like if I would put a fidget spinner or something by them, they're tiny, they came in. And I'm so happy because it's been so stressful lately. It's like my little foxes came in and they have their little hens thrown up and they're ready to party and I really needed some, um, a little pick-me-up because it, there's been an ongoing saga with all my shipping lately, so it was great to see something come in and to see the pretty little color-changing foxes. These guys are gorgeous. I'm so happy I got them. They have like a whole line of like Santa Claus, Hello Kitty, anything you could possibly want, but I wanted my little foxes. Okay guys, I just want to do this and then I'll make you a little clip after this, so I will be right back. Okay, a little bonus footage. That is, you cannot see the Coke can, but the Coke can is, <laughs> you can't see my hand either. The Coke can is up above, those little guys are on my, uh, this but yes very much adorable very much love um I, I really like them they're really cute and tiny and i'm really pleased so well there you can kind of see the coke can see that see the coke can's bigger and tiny foxes okay there you go well hello guys welcome back one of these days i'm gonna have to do a piece on the evolution of an average desktop um you guys know i had the hands of fox over on this side, and I had the little Missy over on this side, and that was the way it was always going to be until, like, I actually had to eat, and I eat at my desk, and, um, you know, I supposed to, but I do, and I had to game or something, then they were getting in the way, and I wasn't sure if the, um, signals for the, um, rift were bouncing off them or not, which they should actually help. But I don't know. So they won. And now I have two little light-up foxes on my desk. And I think Loki kind of used his perfect timing to have them arrive today. Because I actually managed to give myself a stress headache. Um, the saga of the lost found lost foxes. They amazingly found my Amazon order of the fox ornaments and baking soda. And... They shipped it, and they're like, oh, you'll get it, you'll get it Wednesday. It's Wednesday, and it's stuck in Kentucky. It was moving lightning fast, and then it got to Kentucky, and it just stopped dead. I don't know if there's a natural disaster or not in Kentucky. I'm not aware. But I'm kind of worried for Kentucky now, because my book has also been there for over a week and just not moving. I'm like, oh my god, what's happening in Kentucky? Did they, like, what happened? So, yeah, um... That happened, and adorable foxes happened, and um, I think Loki's just trying to like calm me down, help me recenter because um, Amazon is being slow. Um, they didn't ship yet from Walmart, so my Walmart order was just sitting there today, and I was looking at it, and I'm like, do I really need this? And I wasn't sure whether to cancel the order or not i know i ordered it really late two days ago but if it hasn't at least part of it hasn't shipped by this evening i think i'll just go ahead and cancel it but then i was worried that you know maybe they charge my card already though they say they don't charge it until it ships so i'm not sure what to do so i kind of needed some little colorful foxes uh we were calling them anori foxes because i was telling anori your foxes came in your foxes came in because they're, when they're not lit up, let's turn them off, they're cute white color. Um, this company has, and I think it's adorable, I'm not saying this to make fun, I think it's adorable. They have um, stuff from all, 
cultures all over. So they have these, and they have, like, I threw the boxes away, but should have kept them for a video, but oh well. But they have these, they have Santa Claus, which they called an interesting name. Because remember, the, the idea is imported to wherever these are made. And they had um, Christians, I think, K? That was their word for Christmas tree. So I'm like, now these Hello Kitty things make sense. Because um, a lot of stuff gets kind of lost in translation. And the culture it gets put into, it gets very different. So there's like a Christmas tree and there's like other figures that must be like cultural figures from like China or Japan or Korea or somewhere that they're really cute. And I think a couple of them are going to be lawsuits. <laughs> but yeah, it's like they even call Hello Kitty Hello Kitty. I'm like, you're not Sabrina. I don't think you should be making these, but okay. But yeah, um, they have Hello Kitty. They have... um. A smiley face man, it's like a smiley head and a body. I remember those in the 70s. Um, they have Christmas trees, Santa Claus, bunnies, oxes, snakes, dragons. They have everything. And I was just really happy to pick them up and have a little pick-me-up. And again, I was supposed to be waiting for my birthday, but I'm like... Just getting to my birthday at this point won't be a, be the gift. And I don't mean that in a depressed way or anything. It's just I've been really stressed out. And I woke up with a really bad headache this morning. And I've been like having a sore throat like the last couple of nights. Because you guys know me. I'm a living barometer. Anytime the weather's like going crazy, I get all these symptoms. So, um... I I wanted to, I wanted, I've got to be in a bonnet about getting rid of these boxes. I usually don't put out my Amazon boxes, you know, like, left over from the order until, like, the night before. And I wanted to go out so bad last night and was below freezing. And Loki's like, no. And I'm like, they're really piling up. And I don't want my neighbors to think that I order, like, five it's none of their business. But I don't want them thinking I order, like, five um, truckloads of stuff at one time. So I try to throw the boxes out as soon as possible, but I also try to be a considerate neighbor and know we have wind that makes me swear and curse because you would think a cardboard box would be heavy enough to sit there, right? It's like a pound or so. No, it goes flying all over the neighborhood and I'm like, I don't want to be that neighbor that my my garbage ends up in your yard. So, it's been a trail. I'm like, I'm almost ready at this point to go over to where I used to work and say, can I use your box crusher? <laughs> I'm like, pay $30 to ship all my boxes there and crush them because I'm getting frustrated, but yeah. So, I have that. So, I have a bunch of boxes that I need to get out of this house and I don't want to do all... Well, they're not in the house, they're in the garage. Like, the garage is like the loading area. But yeah, so I was kind of frustrated about that, because look, he knows I have a be in my bonnet about it. And I was kind of frustrated about um, how long the shipments are taking. It's like, I understand books take forever. I've been a reader ever since I was a little tiny child. And I understand, but we're like going back to the shipping of my time. In my time, when you ordered something, four to six weeks, sometimes eight weeks was average. And we're going back to my shipping times, which is weird. I don't know if it's because there's so many people getting stuff shipped. If it's just because these places will not hire enough people. And I'm not talking about the shipping service. I'm talking about, like, um, Amazon, Walmart, all of them. I'm, like, I've worked in public service, and I know they usually have a quarter of a staff they need. So it's not the staff's fault you're busting your hump doing the jobs of five people because they're too cheap to hire enough workers. We had to cut workers so we could keep your prices low. You know what? How about you actually raise my prices and hire more people because you're being cruel. I've worked in public service. I know how hard it is. You've got, like, one person staffing a job an area meant for about 10 people and there's one person and you got pissed off customers yelling at you so i do try to keep my temper i'm not mad at the workers at amazon themselves they're busting their butt but i'm mad at amazon the company because i'm giving them all this money each month or i was 
to be a Prime member to get my order in two days. And apparently it's not uncommon. It's been taking people months to get their Amazon orders. So I guess can thank my lucky stars. It'll only take me a couple weeks to get this stuff. <sighs> so. And then I came on to YouTube. And I'm watching YouTube and Lucky's like, you know, pain is kind of relative. Like, not just my headache and that, but um, Nature's Tempter might be shut down. Nature's Tempter, if you watch Creepypastas, got hit with two copyright strikes, which is serious. Um, that's kind of why I left my main channel. I got tired of that stuff. And um, I got tired of every single time I made a video, somebody was claiming the music. And, you know, you're supposed to have fair use as a gamer, but, like, eight different people would claim the same freaking video. It's like, you can't all own the copy, right? Like, you know, if an artist's music was stolen, then yes, they should get compensation from the video game publisher. Not for me. I'm just trying to do my job. So, it was that. It was a daily grind of people claiming copyright. And usually they claim copyright and they take all your money. Or they get the video demonetized. I had one do a global strike on me. Yeah, a music company did a global strike on a Let's Play. So that is pretty bad. That's when YouTube kind of starts looking at your channel and like, hmm, why did you get a global strike? And, um, well, it was like a global ban. It wasn't so much a strike. It was a global ban. He got two strikes. And he got his first strike and he kind of ignored it. He got a second strike and now he's like, oh, holy. Because apparently once it gets struck, they will not let you see what it is. And I've had to strike people for stealing content. And I mean, like, they stole my entire video and they uploaded it to their channel and they claimed it as their work and they were trying to get it monetized. And I'm like, no, that I will make a strike against because that is outright stealing. But... This is a case of people are finally learning that just because we feel justified taking stuff, um, we're going to all have to become miniature lawyers because I think he was his second strike was on artwork. And he's like, well, it was just artwork. I'm like, I learned years ago on YouTube the hard way that just because you think you have a right to artwork doesn't mean you do. And you better double and triple check that you do have the artist's permission. You have permission to monetize. And it is the actual artist because I got burned in the butt before for that. So I wasn't entirely sympathetic. I'm like, yeah, dude, you got, you got burned. That's why I do all my own imagery now because I'm like, I can't strike my Myself, and that's why I no longer use music the vast majority of the time because I'm like I've noticed sometimes stuff will go out of the YouTube catalog or a YouTube artist will say yeah yeah you can use my music and monetize your video and then I guess they change her mind because all of a sudden you're getting these um, copyright strikes on stuff you did like a year ago and it's a pain well not copyright strikes copyright claims it's a pain in the rear end because they're still active and they're bringing in like a couple pennies and all of a sudden that source of income's gone. So I was really happy to leave that channel and to leave that circus and to come over here to where we're not monetized and when we are, we'll have the same headaches. But in a way, it's better because it's like, that's it. When your YouTube channel, you live in fear of those three strikes because three strikes you're out. And it used to be they just took out the channel that offended and now they're talking about all your channels ago and I noticed they're compacting this has something to do with something all artists channels down into one like if say the police had like eight different channels like one for the videos one for each member of the band or whatever it'll just be one channel now watch them do that to my channels so if one day you guys come on here and there's like a bunch of eight-year-olds running around going FNAF, 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 and I'm just sitting here having a good cry, you know why? <laughs> it's like, yeah, I kind of had to leave that channel. And I am hoping to the gods that they do not like compress both my channels into channels, you know, one main channel because they, they used to, con you know, kind of like try to push us into having seven or eight channels, and now they're consolidating them all back into one, at least where music artists are concerned. And I'm like, well, we'll start with the music artists, and they'll move on to the rest of us. I never saw the point in having a couple channels, but what are you going to do? So, 
that has been today. And I think my my Tylenol kicked in because my headache's pretty much gone. And we're just trying to make the best of today. Um, we're trying to make the best of waiting. I am not good at waiting. You guys know that. So by Saturday, it'll all be over one way or the other. Either the package will be here or it won't. And I just, I really have to learn to let go of that. And, you know, I'm just, I'm frustrated because it's been like, I shouldn't have to be doing all this work just to get a package I ordered and paid for like a week ago. And it's, it's stuck now in Kentucky. And like every time I hear like a bump outside, I'm going outside to see if my packages came in. And look, he's like, you're losing a girl. And I'm like, I know, but I can't help it. And I've been, you know, I've been eating in all week to make sure like I absorb the cost. And I'm like, this really was not worth it. Um, I could have ate out all week. So yeah, you know, well, Dairy Queen and I like get the burger, but you guys know what I mean. I could have ate out all week. Instead, I'm sitting here waiting, grumbly. So I hope you guys are okay. Loki's at least trying to make it fun and trying to make it entertaining and keep me in a playful spirit because I think it's just going to be a saga and I think I'm done ordering stuff online for a while. I kind of feel like until that energy runs its course that um, all my orders are just going to be super slow. So I'm going to wait until everything's handle one way or the other so if it takes two weeks to get all this stuff it takes two weeks and that'll keep me from ordering stuff online so if you guys like what you see like comment subscribe and i will see you later and i'm grabbing a little nori fox instead of grabbing the mouse here but i will see you guys later Bye bye